Hi everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, welcome to Big Sky Beauty, I'm Julie and today I'm going to show you how to make a really good DIY cream or serum, whichever one you prefer, for your eyes. Now you can put this on top or below, but if you're going to use it on top of your eyes, I would suggest going with a cream so that it doesn't... Um, serums and oils will tend to make their way down and make your eyes all fuzzy. I've never had them bother me, but it certainly does plenty of people. So you want to keep, you know, essential oils away from where they can actually come down into your eyes. And of course, you know, if you put anything on top, it'll work its way down. So let me get started with what you're going to need, okay? First of all, you're going to need a few essential oils. And if you don't already have these, it's going to cost you a little bit to first purchase the oils that you need to make a good eye cream. And these oils are good for your face, period. Now, let me show you. There are two books. I have been dealing with essential oils for a very long time. And uh, I had always planned to make these DIY videos. I just hadn't gotten around to them because I had, because of the whole remodel we're doing, I had everything packed up. But I actually have it all unpacked into my room now, so now I can start doing these again. But if you're going to get into essential oils, there are two books that are an absolute necessity. They're, they're, I don't want to be sacrilegious, but they're literally a Bible when it comes to essential oils. Okay, And the first one is The Complete Book of Essential Oils and Aromatherapy by Valerie Ann Warwood. Okay, and you're going to want to get both of these, and I think I got both of these maybe $10, $15 off of Amazon each, or you could go check them out at your library, you know, whichever one you want to do, and the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Essential Oils from Julie Lawless, Julia Lawless. Now, she also has one of these, it's the exact same book, but it's not illustrated, and you want the illustrated ones, because it shows... Well, not only does it have pretty pictures, <laughs> but it shows you the plant that the oils come from and all that kind of stuff. And it's just good to know. So these two books here will tell you everything that you ever wanted to know about every essential oil on the planet. Now, there are many that um, are just superb for anti that have anti-aging qualities. And a lot of your, um, a lot of your high-end... Uh, products that are for anti-aging. If you look on the containers, you'll see that they have many of these ingredients. And so it's not just mumbo jumbo, you know, essential oil stuff. There's truth to it, and they're just fantastic products. Now, if you look back into my summer, uh, some of my earlier videos, you will see that my forehead lines and this line between my eyes. I don't want to scare you here, but my forehead lines, I've got pretty pronounced forehead lines. And this line between my eyes was really pronounced. Now, if you look back into my, into my, some of my younger or older videos, rather, you'll see that you can really see those a lot more then than you could now. And I attribute that to this eye cream that I made. Now, yes, it is an eye cream, and I made it to go under my eyes, but what's left on my fingers, I will put right there. I'll just rub it right there, right here on my smoker lines, because I used to smoke, and then just a little bit into my forehead, because I've already got my moisturizer on, so it just kind of smooths in with, with what's already there. And, you know, as far as the lines around my eyes go, um, if you if you were to see my mother at my age, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I love you, mom. All right, rest in peace. But she had, you know, she had very prominent um, facial lines when she was 46 years old. So let's get started. You're gonna first need a few essential oils, and those oils are lavender. Okay, lavender is very good. Now I'm not gonna go into what each one of these oils is gonna do. I actually had somebody request today. Um, for me doing a video on essential oils and what the properties of each one, you know, how they work for you. So I think I will do that. So instead of going into e what each one of these oils is going to do for you, um, I'm just going to list the oils, tell you about them, and, and then I'll make a video about, you know, how good they are for you. So you're going to want lavender. You're going to want fennel. Okay? Fennel seed. Well, not it doesn't say seed. It's just fennel. Fennel oil. And then you are going to want chamomile and rose. Now, rose can be pretty expensive. Um, 
Matter of fact, it can be very expensive. But you can get Rose Absolute, and it's it's a mixture is what it is. It's Rose and mixed with either Ahoba or, you know, some other kind of carrier oil. Um, this one happens to be in Ahoba oil. I don't even, I've never owned Absolute, or I've never owned True Rose oil. <laughs> it's too expensive. Uh, Neroli, you're going to want Neroli. And these are Coastal Sense oils here. These are excellent oils. These ones here are Annie Oakley. And this this one is Nature's Alchemy. And then you're going to want to Palm Rosa and Evening Primrose, which I don't have any. I used the last of it when I made my last um, bunch of creams. So what you're going to need is a little container. Now, that's why I save all of these. You see all of my, my empty Mac and NYX pots. Um... I usually send my Mac ones back for back to Mac, but I keep my NYX ones because I can just pop that thing out of the middle and use those for my creams or whatever. And then all of my old um, um, pigment bottles or, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Now, you're going to need a base. Uh, either if you're going to do an oil, a serum like oil, then you're going to want to have a carrier oil of your choice. Ahoba oil is very good. Um, I prefer Evening Primrose because it's super, super light. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel like it weighs down. And when you get older, you know what I'm saying. It doesn't feel like it weighs down your under eyes. Evening Primrose is one of the best oils for anti-aging out there, uh, um, as far as carrier oils go. It's very, very good stuff, and it costs about. 15 to 20 dollars for like three ounces two or three ounces of it so but what you're going to use it for you know it lasts you forever a bottle of evening primrose will last me three to six months i mean i can make a ton of product out of one little bottle so i know this stuff is kind of pricey to start out with but after your first investment then you're not going to have to buy an under eye cream or a face cream for a year you know, literally, because that's how little you use. So you're going to want to start out with an oil of your choice. Um, I have a over here, but that's just because that's what I grabbed. Or you can use any kind you want. And if you're going to do a cream, now I get these from um, TJ Maxx. And they're the they're spa brand. Everybody, I think every TJ Maxx in the world carries these. And they've got a little bit of retinol and, um, you know, alpha hydroxy acid in them. I don't really think that it's that much. It says professional on it, but I don't think that, um, you know, if you look on the ingredients, it's way down there in the ingredients. But it works as an excellent base. It's nice and creamy. Your, absor your skin absorbs it really quick. Um, and I'll list all of this stuff down below. But you can use anything you want. Um, I've used my Say Yes to Blueberries Age Refresher um, Cream. I've even used my Strivectin Daily Hydrator Moisture Lotion. Um, you know, or you could even mix your lotions together, whatever you want. What's important is what you're going to be putting into it. So you want to pick a, a cream or an oil that you feel comfortable with putting around your eyes. You know, whether it be um, no scented, because essential oils all have a fragrance to them and you can't do anything about that. Okay, so you're going to pick your oil or your cream, whichever it is you want to use. Now, I have found, and these aren't cheap either, the Burt's Bees Radiance Eye Cream. Now, down at my Target right now, they have Burt's Bees Radiance Hand Cream in these little tubs for two bucks a piece in the dollar bins when you walk inside this little thing here costs sixteen dollars but this, that's the same thing out of this box costs sixteen bucks but these little tubes or these little jars cost two dollars down at target and it just says Burt's Bees Radiance hand cream instead of eye cream and I bought a couple of those and brought them home and I felt them, put them on my skin, put them under my eyes, and I swear it's the same dang cream. It smells the same, reacts the same, feels the same. So whether it's the same or not, it would be an excellent medium to use um, to put your oils into. Would be, you know, those little, those little jars, sample jars from Burt's Bees down at your Target. So what I do is I scoop out... Where's my little splatula? I've got a whole bunch of these, and I don't think all of us do. Or MUAs anyway. But I spat, I splatch out half of it, okay? And then I'll put it in a spare jar, because I can make two containers out of one of these, which is about six months worth of eye cream. And I'll put it in a spare jar, okay? And then I have a whole bunch of these little, um, these little droppers that 
you know, when you get essential oils, you when I order them from online, I always get a couple of these, and I got a whole bowl of them. And you don't have to use these because most essential oils have a built-in dropper into the top of them. And it will dis dispense a perfect drop out. And it won't pour out, so... You know, it, that's, a, that's a good thing. However, I buy so much essential oils in bulk, like this, like my lavender oil, that I have to take it out and do it. Now, these little Annie Oakley ones actually have a dropper built into them. So that's nice and handy, too. And the ones from Coastal Scents don't have anything. They don't have anything on the top. So you'll need a dropper. And it doesn't have to be one of these. It can just be out of a random bottle, you know, whatever it is. Now... Well, this is what this is what I do, okay? I scoop out half of my cream and then I put two drops of palm rosa. Okay, now it doesn't seem like that much, but essential oils are incredibly concentrate and you there almost isn't there isn't very many that you want to use neat, which is you know, on your skin without some kind of dilution. Um that's what they call neat N E A T actually I think it's N E E T. But anyways, um, and so two drops to a little thing like this is more than enough, okay? But that's what I used, so that's what I'm going to tell you what, you know, what I used. I used two drops of the Palm Rosa and two drops of Neroli, okay? And I just put them both in. Now, I'm not going to do this right now because I've got another tub that I made in here, so I'm not going to actually make it, but two drops of Palm Rosa, two drops of Neroli. Okay, and then two drops of your rose and one drop of your chamomile. The chamomile is really good for puffiness, for just keeping the, you know, the skin from getting aggravated for any reason. It's just very good for anti-inflammatory and it calms your skin and it's just really, really good. Now, the fennel, this is subjective. Um, it's in all of my books to use as a special eye treatment if you've had... Um, you know, if you've had really bad hay fever and been rubbing your eyes a lot. I just put one drop into my serums and my creams regardless because I really see a difference, I think, from when I've always made these but without the fennel and I notice that little bit of difference. And so I always use fennel and I use one drop of it. Okay? And then I use two drops of lavender oil. Now, it might sound like a lot, but once you get it in there, you'll see that it's not even enough for you to even really see what I've already told you, okay? And then vitamin E oil. Now, if you'll see, it is just incredibly thick. I try to just use like one. If you see that? Just one drop fall off the dropper. I'll use two of those in my little container, okay? And then with the carrot oil, I will use half a dropper full. Carrot oil is so good for your skin. Just insanely good, okay? And then I put a just one little smidge of Baruti. Now, you don't have to do this. I just started doing this a couple months ago, but I have seen such a dramatic difference in the lines on my forehead that I'm just sticking with what I know, <laughs> you know? So I put a little bit, and this is kind of hard to come by. Um, I came by this at TJ Maxx uh, completely on a whim, and but I never did use it before, so I wouldn't really worry too much about the Baruti. But if you happen to find it, grab it. And your TJ Maxx gets these oils here in a lot. Um, I got all of these. There's the Sonoma Natural Oils. And I got all of these at, um, they say serum on them, but it's oil. And I got them all at TJ Maxx for 10 bucks a peach, which is a fantastic price. Okay? Now, avocado oil is super good. Super good for your skin. And I use a half a dropper full. Okay? So I'll use, I'll suck it all up as far as I can, and then I'll use half of what I get in the dropper. Now, with avocado, it's not like an oil like the rest. It's very, very thin. It's almost just a milky water. Um, there's almost nothing to it there. So what all these oils going to do is thin your cream out so that you have a very, very fine, thin cream to put around your eyes. It's not going to be like a heavy lotion or anything, okay? And then rose hip. I cannot stress how important rosehip is. Whether it's rosehip oil, uh, rosehip seed, it's just ultimately important. All of your, many of the Clarence products that I've gotten over the years has rosehip in it. A lot of Dr. Dennis Gross's stuff has rosehip in it. It's just so, so, such a good product. And I use a half a dropper of the rosehip. Okay? And then, on finally, 
my vitamin E oil. Now, you don't have to use this because, well, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, because it's super good. And if you don't make the C serum that I make, I use it in a different way, but we won't go there right now. Very, very good. If you can get your C and A, or your A and C, yeah, is that right? A and C or A and E in together then they react with each other and that's a really good thing you want that going on around your eyes okay so I just put a couple drops of it in just one or two drops is all and then I take my little spatula and like a little mad scientist in here in my room I'll mix it all up and maybe maybe and I'll do that all the measurements that I just showed you I'll do that to both halves so you know how I told you in the beginning that I scoop out half or I'll get a container like this and it'll be half full, let's just say that. And then I will do that amount in each one of these. So then I have like six months worth of, of creams left. So I just, I can't tell all of you or anyone who wants to know what I have seen the difference this do to my smoking lines, um, to, you know, this line in between my forehead. It's just made an incredible difference. and. I'm, I'm a hardcore believer in essential oils, I'll tell you. Um, for somebody who has been struggling with lupus for 16 years, I don't know if you guys know any, any folks that have lupus, but it can wreak havoc on your skin. I mean havoc. And that is where mine started, too, is in my epidural layer. So the fact that my skin actually looks as good as I believe it does, after having lupus for 16 years, I completely... You know, I absolutely attribute it to my use of essential oils and, you know, cleansing, obviously, and I drink a ton of water. Um, but that is my that is my under eye cream, and I will list all of the ingredients down below. I know that this was a little haphazard, and I'm, I'm trying to actually teach myself how to make these DIY videos because I've got really good recipes that... I mean, do you see all the all the little bookmarks and stuff that I have in here? And then I write them all down in what I call my book of wonders. <laughs> That's what I call it. I got my hair masks in here. And I just took a cute little notebook from Ross. But you can see all my bookmarks in there. I've got all my hair masks and eyes. And I've got a serum that are good for neck, which is very similar to the eyes. It's just got a little bit more stuff in it that are that have a stronger fragrance that you don't really want around your eyes, you know. And these are all things that I have looked and done the research and found what's best and taken bits and pieces out of what's best out of these books and put them together for myself. And, you know, like I said, for somebody who has full-blown lupus, I think that my skin is working out pretty good for me. You know, even though I've got these damn gels going on here, the Sharpe things going on, and not only are they hereditary, but being overweight makes that worse, you know. So, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, I've thought about duct tape or... You know something like that I don't know but so I hope that this um, I hope you guys enjoyed this I will list everything down below the measurements what oils you need all of that kind of stuff down below because I, I'm trying to be quick about this so it's not too long um, but uh, yeah if you guys just invest the first time okay and I will tell you which oils that I believe are the best um, the coastal scents oils are surprisingly really really good um, but or acacia is probably the best oil on the market. I'll just say that right now. But I will put it all down below for you. And um, if there's any kind of serum or a cream that you guys would like to see for specific reasons, whether it be a rash or um, eczema or anything like that, I've got an aunt that's got really bad eczema that I made her I make her creams for and ship them down to Utah for her. They claim it's the only thing that works. You know, she claims it's the only thing that works for her, but. I don't know. Um, just let me know. But once one more time, I will put it all down below. Because I know I kind of went through this quick and haphazardly a little bit. But um, I'm on my way out the door, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry. But I just want you guys to try this. And it's going to cost you a little bit of money to, you know, from the get-go. But not as much as a really good quality eye cream would cost you. And then you'll have enough product to make your own eye cream for a year. So that's all I have to say, and I love you all very much. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I, I think my I think my side-by-side -side on the Elf and the Mac offended people because since I put that video up, I have lost like 
like I'm losing like three or four subscribers an hour. I don't know what's going on and I didn't mean to offend anybody. Certainly there can't be many people out there that are a diehard Mac fan like me. <laughs> I mean, almost everything that I have down at my shop is exclusively Mac. So I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but I certainly didn't mean to. Um, but something about that video PO'd the masses because I have got people leaving my channel. I don't know. It kind of breaks my heart on one end and on the other. You know, somebody once told me that you got to have a stiff spine to do this, and I know that, but I didn't mean to offend anybody. I just don't believe that there's any difference between those products. So, okay, um, here's a really good eye cream for you. I absolutely swear by this, and I'll leave all the information down below. If you have not subscribed to me, please do so, and my second giveaway is coming up in two days. Woohoo! I'm excited for that. And you guys all have a wonderful week, and I will see you in Wednesday's video. Bye-bye.